hey what is good you guys i am jaydeep and welcome back to the channel so this is the second video in the python interview question series if you haven't um, in the first one i'll leave link to that in the i button and do check that one as well and in this question or in this video we're going to concentrate on object oriented programming so if you're totally new to what object oriented programming is i do have a detailed video on that i'll leave a link to that in the i button as well so do check that out first and once you've done that i think uh, you'd be in a better position to answer this question let's get straight to it uh, so the first question which you're going to tackle is python single versus multiple inheritance so the answer is python supports both single and multiple inheritance so if i just uh, drag this down a little bit so what does single inheritance means that is there is only one base class so car is the base class we know that a car is a very generic or a broad concept but mercedes is a very specific concept of a car or a very specific implementation of the car class mercedes is a special brand or a single implementation similarly uh, consider this one now a mother and a father have a child yeah? so a child can inherit the features of both mother and the father so here there's a multiple inheritance now the mother and father are both people or their person each and every person which is who is walking on the face of earth has certain common features such as eyes ears nose legs and stuff like that so mother and father both are people or they are a person and child inheritance uh, child inheritance child inherits from both the mother and the father so yeah python supports single and multiple inheritance that is a theory about inheritance of single and multiple so if you are a beginner uh, you should be able to answer whether whether python supports multiple inheritance and single in inheritance so the answer is yes python supports both single and multiple inheritance next question which we might get is what is the diamond problem so what happens is this implementation which we saw this one yeah so what happens here is the person mother and father are both persons and they can have the inherit from person similarly child inherits from mother and father so if you see this is created a kind of a diamond yeah so there could be a method yeah there could be a method which is implemented in the person mother father and child so for example let's say walking right so a child can walk a mother can walk a father can walk and a person can walk so if there's a walk method which is available then it can be present to all of them now in such a case what would happen or what so if an object of the child is created and on that object we call the walk method so for example uh, let's draw this actually so let's say there's a uh, this one what i think so there's a walk method okay so there's a walk method which is implemented here here and here and here as well now if we create an object of the child yeah so if i do something like uh, c is equal to child and i do c dot uh, say walk yeah so what would be what would be called so how because the child inheritance uh, inherits from mother father and both of them inherit from person what would happen when the c dot walk is called so that so that is called the diamond problem that which method to call because each and every of these class have the walk method and to solve exactly that we have something called as the next question or the mro which is nothing but i think i should have done this method resolution order Yep. so we have something called as the method mro or the method resolution order and let us see the mro next in action right so we saw this diagram of uh, the diamond problem what and the diamond problem is that if you know there's multiple inheritance and there's a method which is in uh, implemented in all of the base classes then what happens to the uh, what happens to the method which is called so i've implemented the same uh, code or the same diagram here so we have person father mother so father and mother inherit from person this is how you write inheritance in or in, uh, inheritance in python and the child inherit inherits from both father and the mother and each and every one of them have the walk method so what happens if i do child dot walk yeah so you might have guessed that because this child uh, has a walk method of its own obviously if i run it this says child walks which is straightforward because we have a local implementation child walks does okay but what happens if i just remove this yeah. so now child does not have a walk implementation of its own 
what child inherits from father and mother who both have a walk method now if i run this what happens so this would usually be your question that what would be the output of this code now the concept which the interview looking for is something called as the mr or the method resolution order now to solve this problem what python does is it has some it maintains something called as the method resolution order and what you can do is print child dot underscore or the dunder mro so the dunder mro special variable what it does is it stores the method resolution order and if i run this now if you see it it prints out uh, it prints out a tuple which has basically the direction in which or the order not the direction but the order in which this child class will go looking for the methods so the child class will firstly look within itself if it doesn't have it will look in look for the method in the father then in the mother then in the person and then in the object based class of python so what happens is the method uh, the class which is mentioned first that was that would be the one where the child class goes looking for so if i just interchange this and if i do other and now run the mro if you see mother has come before father and if i just print child object dot walk you see mother walks yeah so this is what happens mother walks now if i just do uh, something such as control x and mother here and then i do child dot walk and you might already guess father walks so whichever class is mentioned first in the in this inheritance that is the that is the class which python will go looking for and this entire detail is maintained in the something called as the method resolution order so that is important now the next follow up question which you might get is what if i want to specifically so mother is mentioned here now what if i want to specifically call the father's child method as well so in that case what you can do is father dot walk self so here if you just print this now so it will call child dot walk and father dot walk as well so specifically we have called we have chosen which method to call so this also can be done this can also be a follow-up question now without this if i just uh, now uh, if you want to call similarly mother's method as well what you can do is mother dot walk as well now if i do this so it calls child walks father walks mother walks so all three of them so this is how this is how we can do it and the last question would be around the super keyword and what what does the super keyword do so in very simple terms the super keyword allows us to the super keyword allows us to call the methods of the parent or the base or the super class so we have a rectangle here and we have a square here so we know that it's basic geometry a rectangle square is nothing but a special type of a rectangle so if we have the length and the width of the rectangle same it becomes a square so this i think this is a rectangle yeah this is a rectangle if i cut it exactly into half these will be two squares simple now so to, the formula to calculate the area of a rectangle is length into width okay? so length into the width yeah? and the formula to calculate the area of a square is length into length because both of them are same in that case so instead of writing this whole code what we can do is we can reuse this method and instead of writing and we can reuse this whole thing yeah we can do this whole thing so if the length and width become same we can reuse this whole thing and that is what the super method allows us to do so we take in we have a simplified square which takes in which inherits from rectangle and it calls the super dot init so it calls the init init method and the, instead of passing the length and width it what it does is to the width it passes the length so both of them become same so length into length would give give us the area of the square which is nothing but what we have written here yeah so i've just demoed it here so if i run this and let me comment out uh, the code after this and if i run this now so you see output is 100 for both so square and simplified square but what what this does is it it has shorter code that is what the super method does also to explain it a bit more in detail we have a cube and the cube inherits from simplified square 
so if i print out the uh, if i print out the cube dot underscore mro and if i run this now so we see cube in a, in a from simplified square which in turn inherits from rectangle yeah nothing nothing different is happening we just saw this and using the super keyword we use the we call the area method so the super will call the area method of the simplified square but simplified square doesn't have its own own area implementation but it has a super call so the super will go to the uh, the rectangles uh, rectangles method and we have an area here so this area or this line would go looking here it didn't find anything here but it has a super so it went to a rectangle and it found it here and that's why if we initialize a cube with 10 as the length and if i print it it would give us 600 because we know that a cube is just a square in six uh, three dimensions and it has six sides that's that's just basic the super keyword does it allows us to call the uh, it allows us to reuse code by allow uh, by allowing us to call the methods of the parent class that was today's video it was all about inheritance and object oriented programming in python and these are very common problems so especially the example which i showed here uh, the mro1 as to what happens if i just remove this yeah and if i say pass which method which walk method would be called so that is a very common question and it allows us to ask further questions about the method resolution order what is the uh, what is the super keyword and stuff like that so uh, the this particular problem opens up a door to, opens up the door to multiple questions so yeah that, so that was today's video if you did find it useful uh, do hit the subscribe button do leave your feedback in the comment section and uh, as usual do not forget to like this video thank you for watching